today we're doing an amazing digital circus build challenge but i'm gonna be secretly using hacks to troll my friend using the command slash slash paste i can instantly spawn on this massive cough build but little does my friend know i'm gonna be filling up the entire thing with traps to prank him and now let's go check out my friend ge and ge what in the world are you doing bubbles you have to help me this abstracted cough is attacking me what the heck ge i'll help you take this okay come on and boom let's go but bubbles what in the world are we doing today we're gonna be doing a digital circus build challenge digital circus but wait a second what character are we building we're building Kofmo. i love Kofmo, even though he literally just attacked me but wait a second what side are you gonna go on the blue side or the green side well since it's my favorite color i'm gonna go on the green side the green side that's what i saw <laughs> fine Gio, go on the blue side it's the better color anyway but we only have 10 minutes to make this build so you better get started ge go 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 let's go now that ge can't hear me anymore it's time to cheat so let me just go and try and type slash slash paste and oh my god our cough build just spawned in we're so ahead of ge right now but it's time to put in some traps and for my first trap i'm gonna be making a fake entrance and where should i put it hmm oh let's put it right inside of cough mode as i right over here let's go ahead and make the entrance out of ghost blocks disguised as emerald blocks emerald blocks are ge's favorite so this is definitely gonna lure him into our trap but now that we have the entrance set up we can start building our actual trap let's start by building a room out just like this and i'm gonna be making a super deadly laser lava course so this is gonna look super cool let's go ahead and start placing down these lasers and just to show you how dangerous these lasers can be i'm gonna spawn in this kinger and look at that he's already dead they're extremely powerful so we might as well call them the sigma lasers let's just put down a few more of these sigma lasers and look at that our course is already looking super cool to make this course even more difficult we're also going to add in some lava right over here now that we're done with the main part of this room we can give ge his prize at the very end and i think it would be hilarious if we gave ge a grimace shake as his prize ge is going to think it's a normal grimace shake but when he goes to drink it he's going to start levitating into these spikes up here and he's not going to be able to do anything to stop it let's test if this works by drinking the grimace shake come on come on and look at that we're floating and wait the spikes <laughs> that was super duper scary make sure to stick around to see ge drink the grimace shake but now that our fake entrance is completed let's go check on ge to see how he's doing i secretly placed one way glass on the other side of the competition so let me just break out a few blocks just like this and look at that we can see ge building all right just a few more blocks and there we go my kofma looks so good what do you think of it mr siren head what the why is ge talking to a siren head and it's even bigger than his build wait a second why are you running away from it get over here what the heck but little does bubbles know i'm gonna fill my entire cough mode with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end and we only have eight minutes left to build so this is going perfect wait a second is that tnt and we only have eight minutes left i gotta get back to my build go 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 and all right since we already have the fake entrance completed it's time to put in the real one and i think it would be really funny if we put it inside of cough mode's big old belly let's go ahead and make the entrance out of some secret doors just like this and look at that it's so hidden you can't even tell anything's there but if you walk up to it and right click the secret doors they open up just like this and conveniently now that we're inside we can start building our first official trap for this trap i'm gonna be making ge pick between two levers and one of them is gonna spawn in a super scary mob ge is gonna have to decide if he wants to pull the lever on the right or the lever on the left if ge pulls the lever on the left it's gonna spawn in this abstracted cough mo and what the heck it does so much damage ah since the lever on the left is a trap the lever on the right is gonna bring him to the next room if he pulls this lever it's gonna activate this secret iron door just like this and let's go our pick the lever room is completed for the second obstacle in my cough mob build ge is gonna have to fight a super dangerous mob let's build out a room for it first next we'll place down some of these super secure iron bars to make sure that the mob doesn't escape there we go and now to help me spawn in this super insane mob boss hit the like and subscribe button in three two one thank you for subscribing and oh my goodness look how terrifying and powerful this guy looks there's just absolutely no way that ge is gonna be able to defeat him so we're just gonna have to give him some gear to help him out we're gonna be giving him a full set of emerald armor and an emerald sword and it's all gonna be inside this password protected chest right over here let's set the password to 2468 and let's just go ahead and put everything inside hopefully that'll be enough for ge to put up a good fight but now that that's all in there we gotta give ge a way to figure out the password and to do that we're just gonna write it in the wall right over here we got the number two just like this then the number four right next to it let's put the number six on the wall right over here also just to switch things up we're gonna put the number eight on the floor right over here there we go and you might be thinking that this is super easy to figure out but we're gonna be covering the numbers with a whole bunch of paintings let's cover it all up for the number eight on the floor we're gonna cover it with some lime carpet just like this with all of that placed down you can't even tell that there's any numbers anywhere make sure to stick around to see ge fight this absolute monster from ohio but for now we can move on to building the next trap for this next obstacle ge is gonna have to pick between two roller 
roller coasters, and one of them is gonna be super duper deadly. Let's make the room for the roller coasters, and there's gonna be one on the right and one on the left. We'll make the direction of this one go down, and the direction of this one go up. The roller coaster that's going down is gonna be a trap, and it's gonna lead him to a room full of dinosaurs. Let's build out a bedrock cage just like this so that GE can't escape. There we go, and now we can spawn in these super dangerous dinosaurs. What the heck? They're eating me alive! Ah! Let's go ahead and finish up this roller coaster, and I can't wait to see GE fall for this trap. The roller coaster going upwards is gonna be the safe one to lead him to the next room. Let's put down the railings, then make the walls, and yes sir, our roller coaster room is completed. But before moving on to building the next trap, I wanna go troll GE real quick. So let me just fly right here and grab my invisibility potion, and then we'll break out a few blocks into the wall, and no way we can see GE building his Kofmo! Whoa, my Kofmo build's turning out so good, but wait a second, I'm super duper hungry. I could really use some poisonous potatoes right now. Did he just say poisonous potatoes? potatoes? Oh my goodness, guys, I have the perfect prank. Let me just splash this invisibility potion, and then go in my inventory and grab a potato cannon and some poisonous potatoes. Now, before he finishes his build, let's quickly fly over to him. I can't wait to finish his build so I can eat some potatoes right now. Well, G, you don't have to wait, because I'm right here to serve them to you. Wait a second, what was that? Was that some poisonous potatoes? No way, guys, we literally poisoned him. That was super duper yummy, but wait a second, where did it come from? Oh, well, I guess I'll keep building. And quick, before he finishes building, let's just kill him with the potato. Ah! No way, we actually got him. Before he responds, we'll grab this bazooka, and then we'll blow up his build. Run away, run away, run away. That was super weird. Where did all those potatoes come from? And Oh my gosh, what just happened to my build? G noticed it, but he has no idea that it was me. No, 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 this is super bad. We only have five minutes left, and I have to rebuild this entire thing. Wait a second, did he say we have five minutes? I gotta get back to my build then. Cover up this wall, and let's go. We gotta quickly build this. For my next obstacle, GE's gonna have to walk across this super thin tightrope. Let's make the tightrope out of these super thin iron bars so that it's super hard for GE to keep his balance. There we go. To punish him for falling off, we're gonna fill the bottom of this tightrope room with a whole bunch of different spikes. Okay, and whoa, I would definitely not want to fall into those. To make this tightrope even more difficult, we're just going to spawn in some Zubals right over here. Zubal might seem completely innocent, but if you walk by her on the tightrope, she's going to pull back her bow and knock you off. Ah, what the heck? Let's spawn in one more Zubal over here. The only way that GE can get across without getting knocked off by the Zubals is by using these two dirt blocks right over here. To GE, is just going to look like some decoration, but if he actually breaks the blocks and takes them with him, he can use it to cover up these Zubal holes just like this. With both of them covered, he can safely make it across to the other side. The tightrope room looks super clean, so now we can move on to building the next trap. And oh no, we only have two minutes left. I gotta quickly build this. This next room is gonna be a find the button room where there's gonna be a million buttons and GE's gonna have to find the right one. Other than these stone buttons, there's gonna be a special red button, green button, and blue button. Because green is GE's favorite color, we're gonna be making the green one a trap. Let's go ahead and set up a command block behind the green button, and now when GE goes to press it, it's gonna spawn in this mutant zombie. And oh my goodness, help me! Oh. GE's gonna be terrified when he presses this button. And I think just to troll him a little bit more, we're gonna make the red one a trap as well. When he walks in and presses it, it's just gonna instantly pop him. Haha! <laughs> now that we have all the traps set up, we can move on to the beautiful blue button. Oh my god, it looks so precious. But um, anyway, since blue is the best color in the world, it's gonna be the correct button. GE is not a big fan of blue, but if he figures out it's the right button and presses it, he's gonna teleport to the last and final obstacle. For the last obstacle that GE is gonna have to traverse through, he's gonna have to pick if he wants the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure. Let's put a chest at the end of each hall. Way. And let's be real guys, diamond is way better than emerald, so it's gonna be the correct treasure. Which leaves this stinky emerald to be the wrong one. Hehehe, <laughs> it's time for me to set up a trap. Let's replace the blocks right in front of the chest into ghost blocks. And now when GE walks up to collect his treasure, he's just gonna fall right through. And I think it would be super funny if GE fell into some mines. So let's build out a little platform just like this, and cover the top with super explosive mines. To test if this works, we're just gonna use Kinger again, and look at that, he exploded! I can't wait to see GE go flying from these mines. But now that the trap on the emerald side is completed, we can move on to the diamond side. And to reward him for making it through my cough mall build, I'm gonna give him a bunch of emeralds and a bunch of poisonous potatoes, his favorite things. Fill up the rest of the chest, and just like that, our cough mall build is completed. No way, the timer just went off as well. Let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey, GE. Uh, GE, where, where are you? Boo! Ah, what the heck? Haha, <laughs> I got you so good. Are you serious right now, GE? It's not even Halloween. But anyways, now that we're done with both of our builds, who are we checking out first? Well, since my build's obviously weird, Way better than yours, we should check out mine. Yours is definitely not better than mine, but I guess we can save the best for last. Well, let's look at the best right now. Check out my Kofmo build. What the heck, GE? This is actually pretty good. But where in the world are his legs, GE? Uh, 
uh, uh, cough mode doesn't have legs, remember? That is not true. Cough mode definitely has legs. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but I hid the engine somewhere inside of this build, and you're gonna have to find it. And I'll give you a hint. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? Well, it's gotta be blue. And it looks like there's some dark blue over there, but my favorite color is light blue. So let me just look around and look at that. It's right over here. Good job. You found it. So we can open up these doors right here and walk inside. Let's go. And gee, what is this? This is my ultra impossible parkour, and you're gonna have to get past it. Ultra impossible parkour? Well, I definitely don't want to fall in this lava. You got this, Bubbles. Uh, why in the world is that block moving? Uh, because it's a part of the parkour, remember? That's a little bit too scary for me. I'm just gonna try and run across. All right, you got this. Let me just get a really far running start. Come on, come on. And no, I fell. Haha, <laughs> -ha. there's no way you thought that actually worked. So now you're gonna have to use this block. What the heck? All right, I guess I have to do some really good timing. And come on, let's just jump right over here. And what the heck? Haha, <laughs> it's okay, Bubbles. Third time six charm. All right, G, watch this. Come on. And look at that. I made it. Good job, Bubbles. And now you can collect your prize. I'm getting my prize already. Let's go. And why am I in the void? Oh, there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. That was super funny. Are you serious right now? Well, if that's not my prize, is this the fake entrance? Yup, and you're gonna have to find the real one. Let's go. What the heck? Is it in Cough Mouse button right over here? Nope. Nope. Is it in his hat? And what? Not even close. Gee, I can't find this real entrance anywhere. Please help me out. I'll give you a hint, Bubbles, but only under one condition. And what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Come on, guys, please. I really wanna know where this real entrance is. So hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, G, they all liked and subscribed, so now you have to tell me where it is. Wait, what the grimace? Ah, uh, fine. I guess I'll show you, Bubbles. Follow me. I guess I hid this entrance pretty well because it's right over here. Wait, what? I would have never seen that. And now that I'm inside, what am I supposed to do? Well, now that you found the entrance, you can actually get your treasure. Huh? My actual treasure again? Well, you better not be pranking me. Let me just open this up. And wait, a stone sword. And uh, what is happening right here? Come on, Digital Circus. Get him. It's literally all the characters from Digital Circus. Go down, Paul. Me. And now come over here, Kane. I'm gonna get you. Come on. And I got him. And now there's only King and Zubo left. Oh no, I died. Haha. <laughs> come on, I can do this. Come on, Zubo. You're going down. Oh my gosh. How did he do that so fast? What can I say? I'm the best swordsman. Whatever you say, Bubbles. I guess you can go to the next section. Let's go. And uh, GE, what in the world is that? This is a mutant tray, and you're gonna have to fight him. Wait, what? I only have a stone sword. That sounds good enough to me. I'm gonna drop the walls in three. Wait, 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 wait. Two, no, 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 one. G, G, stop, stop, stop. I need more items than that. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you really need more items? I thought you were the best swordsman of all time. Uh, well, I am, but to beat him, I'm gonna need more than a stone sword. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever, Bubbles. I hit a bunch of chests around this room, and if you find them, then I'll let you fight this stray. A bunch of chests? Well, let me just first check these barrels real quick, and what the heck? There's literally nothing in any of them. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna have to look harder than that, Bubbles. What do you mean, G? I looked everywhere. There's no chests at all. Well, maybe you just have to look a bit harder. What do you mean, look harder, G? I've been looking. You're gonna make me mad. Don't get mad, Bubbles. Maybe there's something on the wall somewhere. On the walls? There's nothing there. I'm just gonna break your bill, G. -E. And wait a second. What, what is this? You just found the first chest. No way. Let me just grab what's inside. And it's a lapis lazuli chest plate. Good job, Bubbles. But there's still four more chests around this room. So you're gonna have to find them all. All right. Well, I'm sorry for getting mad, G. I just didn't think to break these paintings. Let me just break this one. And look at that. Another chest. Let me grab the helmet. And whoa, he looks super cool. Yep. And now to find the other ones, I'm just gonna keep breaking them. And let's go. A poison sword. That's way better than my stone sword. Yep. But there's still two more chests left. Let me just keep looking. And oh yeah, some nice boots. And for the last chest, I'm sure there's gonna be some leggings inside. And look at that G, I'm fully suited up and ready for battle. You look super dripped out right now, Bubbles. But now, I'm gonna drop the walls in three. Two, one, fight! Let's go! Bring it on, Mutant Stray! Oh no, he's doing a lot of damage! But I think I can get him if I keep hitting him! Come on, come on! You got this! Just a few more hits and I think I'm gonna get him! Let's go, I got him! Nice shot, Bubbles! I guess you really are good at fighting, but now we can move on to the next section! Oh yeah! I'm the greatest fight- Wait, what is this, G? Is this a parkour? Yup, and if you miss a jump, these kingers are gonna start attacking you! What the- there's a whole family of kingers down there! But just like I'm a professional at sword fighting, I'm a professional at parkour! 
parkour as well. So let me just make these jumps just like this. Wait, what? No, I'm the parkour pro. Stop the cap, GE. I'm literally breezing through this. I didn't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. And just to make it harder, I'm gonna spawn in some more Kingers. Let's go. Well, those Kingers aren't gonna matter, GE, because I'm gonna make it through right now. Come on. And oh, uh, uh, wait a second. Kingers, stop. Ha <laughs> ha. Get him, Kingers. Get him. <laughs> Are you serious, Rainy on GE? Do I have to do the whole parkour over again? Yup. Oh my gosh. Well, I better get started. Hurry up. Go, go, go. And I'm not gonna fail the jumps this time. Come on. And I made it. Good job, Bubbles. I'm gonna get rid of these Kingers now. Bye-bye, Kingers. But now that you made it past the parkour, you're gonna have to choose between the green hole and the blue hole. The green hole and the blue. Well, looking down the green one, I see some lava, and it's a super stinky color anyway. The blue side looks 50 million times better and safer. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. Green is like the best smelling color of all time. What the? Green reminds me of vegetables, and no one likes to eat vegetables. Wait, what? I love vegetables. Are you sure you don't want some lettuce, Bubbles? Uh, uh, ew, what the heck? Ew, ew, ew. Get that healthy food away from me. Come here, Bubbles. You're gonna have to eat your greens. You know what, GE? Matter of fact, give them all to me. Yep, yep, give them all to me. Uh, wait, what the heck? Why do you need them? Because I'm gonna throw them in the lava. Let's go. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Those are my vegetables. <laughs> And now that your vegetables are out of my sight, I can safely jump down this blue hole. Let's go. And wait a second. Why am I dying? Haha. Ah! <laughs> that was your thanks for not eating your vegetables, Bubbles. Oh my goodness. You're just like my mom and dad. That was super funny. What's your guys' favorite vegetables? Leave it in the comments below. But hold up. Wait a minute. There's still one more hole left. The green hole. Gee, I really don't think it's a good idea to jump in lava. Are you sure? It's like a hot bubble bath. Um, I don't know what kind of bubble baths you're taking, but it's definitely not that hot. Come on, Bubbles. It's not that bad. Give it a try. You know what, GE, since I want my prize so bad, I'm just gonna do it. Come on, please survive, please survive. And wait, I lived. Good job, Bubbles, you made it through. And now we can move on to the next section. And, uh, GE, why are there so many spikes and lasers? Because this is my laser bike maze. And if you want to get to your treasure, you're gonna have to get past the entire thing. What the? This looks really difficult. Well, let me just get on this bike real quick. And we gotta be super careful not to touch any of these spikes. Ow, ow, ow. You just hit one. Come on, slow and steady wins the race. Can you make it to the end? Wait, what? My bike just broke. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, how am I supposed to get through now? You gotta give me another bike, GE. Well, I don't know if I can do that, Bubbles. I just ran out of bikes, but... I'll give you the next best thing. Check this out. Uh, what is that? Um, G... G, G, did, did you make a mistake here or something? Nope, this is the second best vehicle in the entire world, the shopping cart. I'm not really sure what world you're living in, GE, but the shopping cart is definitely not a good vehicle. What are you talking about, Bubbles? This thing can go like 200,000 miles an hour. 200, GE, you're literally just trolling me now. Whatever, I'm just gonna use this shopping cart and get through anyway. Let's go. Come on, just gotta be really careful around these lasers and spikes. And whoa, it's about a break already. Well, GE, I'm not gonna let it break. I'm gonna go 200 million miles per hour. Let's go. And oh. Oh yeah, I made it. Nice job, Bubbles. And now that you made it to the end, you have the most important decision of your life. Are you gonna pick the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure? The diamond or the emerald? Well, since I know you want me to pick the emerald one, I'm gonna go to the diamond one. All right, so let's see. There's gonna be so many diamonds in there. And uh, uh, gee, where am I? Haha, <laughs> you just fell in my trap. Get him, silverfish. Get him. Wait, what in the world? Ah! Stop it, stop it. Help me, GE. Haha. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Are you serious right now, GE? Why did you spawn those silverfish on me? Because you chose the wrong treasure and hold up as a matter of fact let me smell this side ew this thing totally stinks what the well as a matter of fact let me smell your side Ah, oh, that's nasty. Oh my gosh. Well, you have to go on this side, Bubbles. Come on. It smells like your side is straight from Ohio, but I guess I'll go through it for my prize. Maybe it is, Bubbles. Only in Ohio. Oh, only in Ohio. Oh. Hey, your singing's pretty good. But let me just open up this chest real quick. And holy moly. A bunch of diamonds rotten flesh. My favorite things. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait a second. Why are you actually eating it? Get out of here. Ah, what the heck? But Bubbles, since you went through my build, can I please? Please go through yours. Yep, of course you can. Let's go. Let's go. Whee. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, so let me see. And oh my gosh, how in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? Because I'm a building professional. And look, GE, my Kofma has legs. Oh my gosh, that's so unfair. This build's literally so big. Are you serious right now? Come on, GE, 10 minutes was plenty of time to build all of this. I don't know how you could even build that fast bubble. That's literally impossible. And wait a second, how do I even get inside this thing? That's a good question. And I'll give you a hint, GE, it's your favorite color. My favorite color? So green. Okay, hold 
hold up. Let me try looking. Hmm, I'm not seeing any green around here. Just a bunch of stinky blue. And wait a second. I think I see some green right over here. No way you found it. So let me just try walking through. And nice. Good job, GE. Now that you're inside, you're gonna have to make it through my laser course. Your laser course? Uh, bubbles. Are you sure you finished building? This thing looks super easy. Well, you know what, GE? I don't think you're gonna get past it. Whatever you say, Bubbles, I'm gonna go through this first try. Come on. Let me just jump over this one and then 360 all the way over to the next one. And you took a little bit of damage, but it looks like you're making it through. Yep, and just to prove you wrong, I'm gonna walk through these lasers. Let's go. What the G? You're a skinny legend. Yep, I'm literally a Sigma. And wait a second, is that my prize? Well, of course, it's to reward you for getting through the course. Let's go. I'm gonna be super duper rich now. And wait a second. Oh, is that the Grimace shake? Yep, the Grimace shake is super duper tasty. This is awesome. I'm gonna drink it now. Let's go. I just got the Grimace shake. Oh, that sounds the way. Ah, where am I going? <laughs> Are you serious, Radio Bubbles? That was not the Grimace shake. That was like the Ohio shake. Haha, <laughs> GE, the Grimace shake made you levitate into the spikes. But wait a second. If there was no treasure in here, then is this a fake entrance? Yup, it is, which means that you're gonna have to go find the real one now. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe it's inside of his hand and no. Nope. Or maybe it's inside of one of his big red buns and oh my. No, no, no. I can't find this entrance anywhere, Bubbles. Can you please give me a hint? Fine, GE. You know what? I'm not gonna give you a hint. Wait, what? Are you sure about that, Bubbles? Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh my, what the heck? I'll tell you where it is. I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. Just follow me, GE. It's right down here in Kofmo's belly. Really, dude? I could have totally found this, but whatever. I guess I'll open this up and go inside. And welcome in, GE. Are you going to pick the lever on the left or lever on the right? Well, since the right one can't be right, then I'm going to choose the left one. Let's go and wait a second. Is that abstracted, Kofmo? Yep, and he's about to eat you. Oh, no. I don't want to go in the void. Get out of here, Kofmo. Get out of here. Kofmo, get him! Ah! Knock him off! Oh my gosh. There's no way you just fell for that, GE. The left one was the wrong lever. Fine, I guess I'll pull the right lever. And we made it. Let's go. And wait a second. Is that a giant tiger? Yep, I picked him up straight from Ohio. Oh my gosh, he's super big and scary. He really is just like Tiger. But hold on. Wait a minute. How do I even fight this thing? What do you mean? With your bare hands. What? Yep, G, are you ready to fight? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, GE. I put a bunch of gear in this chest right over here. Oh, phew. So let me just open it up and... Are you serious right now? Why is there a password? Because I wouldn't make it that easy for you. You're gonna have to look around the room to figure out the password. Look around the room? Well, hmm. There is some suspicious green wool over here. So maybe I can just try mining it up. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta be careful to not hit the tiger over here. And no way, you're figuring it out. Hmm, there's an eight over here. Yep, eight's gonna be the last number of your password. I guess that makes sense. I'll have to find the first three numbers and hold up. Is that an Among Us imposter? What the? It literally is. Hurry, get him before he vents. He looks super sus. Get out of here. I'm gonna eject you. And the paintings just came off of the wall. Maybe I can just do that to every single painting. And there we go. Looks like you figured out the number two. All right, come on. Let me just keep punching the paintings. And now you got the number four. All right, so there has to be one more number left. Let me just punch the rest of these paintings off. And look at that, GE. You figured out the password. Let's go. So let me just type in the code 2468 and whoa there's a bunch of emerald armor and an emerald sword you're looking super green right now you kind of look like a celery stick really dude what are you even talking about poisonous potatoes are so much better than celery i mean i didn't say any of that i'm just saying what you look like ge oh my gosh well whatever you say bubbles just drop the walls already i will in three Two, one, fight! Come over here, Ohio Tiger, come on! Come on, Tiger, get him, get him! Oh no, he's moving super fast! I didn't know these big creatures could move like that. Yep, he runs at 50 miles per hour. Well, it's still not faster than the shopping cart. Come on, just a few more hits and no, I died. <laughs> Second time's the charm, GE. Get him. All right, come on. And let's go. I got him. No way. You actually defeated him? Yup. And look, he dropped all this leather. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Well, now that you defeated the Ohio Tiger, you can move on to the next room. Wait a second. Pick a roller coaster, the left one or the right one. Hmm. Well, I learned my lesson this time, Bubble. Since he made the right one the right one last time, then the left one has to be right this time. Come on. We'll give you a little push. And off you go. Wait a second. What the heck is this? Why is there a bunch of dinosaurs? Haha, <laughs> you just fell from my trap. Ah! 
OMG, I can't believe you just picked the wrong roller coaster. Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? That was so unfair. I mean, hey, GE, you're the one that picked it. But now you only have one option left. All right, whatever, Bubbles. I guess I'll go in this roller coaster. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see where it takes me. And look at that, GE. You made it through. Let's go. And hold up. Is that Zubo over there? Yep, that is Zubo. And you're gonna have to try crossing this tightrope without her knocking you off. Without her knocking me off? Well, Bubbles, that's literally a piece of cake. I bet I could do that first try. Uh, well, if you're so confident, then let's see you do it. All right, let's go. This is gonna be easy peasy. Ha ha. You already missed. Ha 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 ha. Na 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 na. Bah! Oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> ha, you just died. That's so not fair, Bubbles. She was definitely like cheating or something. Definitely not. I think you're just a noob. I am not a noob, Bubbles, but hold up. This thing seems literally impossible. Is there an item in here or something? Yep, just look around the room and you'll find something that can help you cross. Look around the room. Well, hold up. Maybe there's something on that ground. You just got shot off again. These dirt blocks look kind of suspicious. Maybe if I just try clicking on it. Come on, come on, come on. And oh, I guess there was nothing there. Yep, G, there's totally nothing there. I don't even like these pink flowers. Get out of here. And look at that, GE. There's totally nothing there either. Bubbles, why do you sound like that? You sound super sarcastic right now. Uh, well, maybe because you might have already found those items, GE. Found the items? Well, how in the world am I going to use pink flowers? What the... GE, not those items, the other ones. Oh, the dirt blocks. Maybe I can use this to cover up the Zoobles. There you go. That's the 400 IQ play. All right, so let me just put a dirt block right over here and then sneak across and put another one over there there. And now I just gotta carefully make it across. Come on. And I did it. Let's go. You made it through. Yep. And now I'm gonna open up this door. Let's go. And hold up. Why is there so much buttons in here? Because you made it to my find that button room. You're gonna have to figure out which one of these buttons is right. Find out which button is right? Well, hmm, there's so many in here. I guess I just have to start pressing all of them. Good luck. Come on. Almost there. And oh, there's a big red button over here. And I totally want to press it. It does look super cool, doesn't it? You should press it. I'm gonna do it. Let's go. And Really, dude. Haha. <laughs> Are you serious, Rainio? How was that not the right answer? It was so big and shiny. Well, that's exactly why I would make it a trap. But wait, GE, isn't green your favorite color? There's a green button over here. There's a green button? Well, say less. I'm totally gonna press it. And oh my gosh. Why is there a mutant zombie? Oh no. Get him. <laughs> There's no way I just baited you into pressing that button. That was so unfair, Bubbles. And now I guess I have to just keep pressing all of these buttons. This is gonna take forever. You better hope that this is not another trap. Come on, I just gotta take it super slow and... Wait a second. Why is there a blue button over here? Uh, what do you mean? It's just another button. Another button? Bubbles, I fell for your traps way too many times. I'm gonna press the blue button, whatever it takes. Well, let's see what happens. Come on. And whoa, where are we right now? You just made it to the last and final obstacle. Are you gonna pick the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure? The diamond or the emerald treasure? Well, that's the most easiest choice of my life. I'm gonna choose the emerald treasure. Let's go! <laughs> There's no way you just fell through those ghost blocks. What the heck was that, Bubbles? Did I just die? Yep, you got exploded on some super explosive landmines. That's so unfair, Bubbles. Does that mean I have to go in the blue treasure? Well, yeah, that should have been your first choice because diamond is so beautiful and amazing. In your dreams, Bubbles, but I guess I'll open up this treasure. Come on, let's see what's inside. And whoa, there's a bunch of emeralds and poisonous potatoes. They're all for you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ew, there's no way you're actually eating that. Haha. <laughs> well, now that we both looked at each other's builds, which one do you think is better? better. Well, hmm, looking carefully at both of our builds, I think that mine is better. What the? Yours doesn't even have legs. Mine is way better. Wait, what? Then who wins? I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment G. No, everyone comment Bubbles. Ah! And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, then click the video on screen. Go click it, click it, click it. Bye. Bye. Are you serious right now?